Report of Western Nigerian Union Conference presented by Pastor Dr. Ezekiel Atolagbe Adeleye at the West Central Africa Division Year End Council held at Ikotekpene Uyo, Akwa Ibon State, Eastern Nigerian Union Conference on October 29 to 31, 2023. This report focuses on mission, growth, and leadership objectives with specific KPIs. Mission Objective KPI 1 Our first mission objective is to revive the concept of our mission in line with the worldwide mission and sacrifice for mission as a way of life involving not only pastors, but every church member, young and old, in the joy of witnessing for Christ and making disciples. Thereupon, series of witnessing activities by both pastors and lay people, men, women, youth, and children took place during the period under review. Pastors, administrators, and laity participated in personal and public evangelistic outreach programs with a goal of total member involvement, TMI. Lagos City Evangelism, Hope in Time of Trouble, powered by West Central African Division Youth Department in collaboration with Western Nigerian Union Conference Youth, was held on 13 to 27 May 2023 in six major centers and many church bays and small group centers. Over 200 souls were baptized. All our secondary schools, together with the School of Nursing and the College of Health Technology, are now having week of prayer emphasis, which have been yielding appreciable number of souls to the Lord. By the grace of God, 3,788 souls have been added to the church from January to September through baptism. There are so many evangelistic meetings going on in this month of October and many more in November, which we believe will bring many more souls to God's kingdom. Children were involved in distribution of tracts, missionary book of the year, preaching, and visiting to children home and the less privileged. The missionary book of the year, the great controversy, children's edition, Michael Asks Why, was printed and distributed to all conferences, courtesy West Central African Division Children Ministries Department. Progressively, over 20,000 copies of the book of the year, great controversy, were printed and distributed across our Union territory. This year, the Union printed 10,000 copies of 10 different titles of tracts, both in English and Yoruba, and distributed them to the laity through our conferences. Also, Bible study materials titled Guide to Bible Doctrine was printed both in English and Yoruba and given to conferences. Furthermore, the Union organized Sabbath School and Personal Ministry Advisory Council focused on TMI and I Will Go initiatives and how to revive small groups in all local churches. Revelation Seminar training workshop was conducted to prepare laity for mission. Growth Objective KPI 5 Stewardship Advisory was held on 27 to 30 April 2023. Over 150 participants were in attendance, including conference leaders, directors, and church members. The West Central African Division Stewardship Director, Pastor Dr. Paul Adusampa, was the main facilitator. The main focus was on putting God first in all that we do. On September 3, 2023, the Associate Director of Stewardship from General Conference, Pastor Arnel Barbe and Pastor Adusampa, West Central African Division Stewardship Director conducted a one-day stewardship workshop at Babcock University for our pastors in Lagos and Ogun States. It was a wonderful experience. Financial status. In the midst of the economic hardship in Nigeria, occasioned by fuel subsidy remover, foreign exchange instability and unification, and the attendant consequences which have impacted the economy of the nation, God has not abandoned his church, and he continues to bless his faithful children, who are in turn channels of blessing to his church. Financial indicators, as at September 2023 and 2022, is as follows. Self-support, 2023, 167.65%, 2022, 103.88%. Working capital, Percentage, 2023, 537.96%, 2022, 481.17%. Working capital, six months requirement, 
36.8 months. 2022, 35.1 months. Liquidity percentage, 2023, 110.86%. 2022, 107.16%. Liquidity, three months requirement, 2023, 6.4 months. 2022, 6.0 months. KPI 6. Back to the altar. The General Conference Initiative was observed twice this year. First in January 10 to 21, according to the GC schedule, and at the beginning of the second half of the year, another 10 days of prayer was observed in July 19 to 29. In addition to this, there is ongoing online weekly prayer meeting every Sunday, 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m., where church administrators, directors, frontline workers, and laity actively participate. There have been inspiring testimony of answered prayers every week. There is a prayer team that prays every day by 6.30 a.m. Prayer is the secret of our success story. Growth Objective KPI 7. As of September 2023, the church membership stood at 66,851. The ministerial status as at September 2023 as stated below. Ministerial credentials 151. Ministerial license 20. Other workforce 205. Total 376. Leadership objective KPI 8. Series of leadership training programs were conducted for pastors, directors, departmental heads, teachers, and frontline workers to enhance growth. Ministerial retreat organized by West Central African Division in collaboration with Western Nigerian Union Conference on January 25th to 29th. Health Ministry Workshop. Some employees are involved in continuous education. Our union participated in the online church officers training program an online mini lead gate training organized by the General Conference. KPI 9.1, ordination service, as a way of enhancing the mission by positioning the ministers to face the tax of ministry. 18 pastors were ordained into the full pastoral ministry of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Western Nigerian Union Conference this year. KPI 10.1, all the entities in Western Nigerian Union Conference have embraced the ACMS, Adventist Church Management System software to enhance accuracy and accountability of records of local church membership. Both pastors and church clerks in all conferences and missions have been trained on how to use the ACMS. As at October 15, 2023, we have entered 30,286 members into the ACMS platform, which is about 45.7% of our total membership of 66,851. We shall continue to encourage the church clerks and pastors to ensure that members' profiles are entered into the ACMS as soon as they are baptized. Projection for next year, 2024. Training of both clergy and laity on disciple-making for mission. This will enhance our membership retention. Public campus evangelism, getting worship centers for the Adventist students' fellowship in some of the public campuses, training workshops on planned giving and trust services, printing and distribution of tracts and other Bible study materials for members. Conclusion, we have confidence that very soon the prophecy of Abaku, the earth, will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea, Abaku Chapter 2, verse 14, we come to fulfillment in our territory. This is our hope through Christ Jesus. We appreciate the leadership of our various conferences and institutions for supporting and involving in missions. Special thanks to Word Leadership for their continuous encouragement and moral support towards mission work in our territory. I thank my co-officers, directors, executive committee members, and other workers for their unflinching support and collaboration. I equally thank all the lay people, men, women, youth, and children who have been playing active roles in missionary activities. May the Lord bless you all.